how's it going? It's Sophie. I am back with another video. So I'm not too sure how I'm going to go about this video. It's a kind of a tricky thing to do. I'll explain why it's tricky. Basically, so we have in Harry Potter, we have the movie, then we have the deleted scenes, and then we have the scenes which aren't even deleted. They're actually never been released. So you can't find them on YouTube. You can't find them as a bonus feature on a DVD. They have not been released. Not even as a deleted scene they have been released. The public has never laid eyes on them. So basically, this is like a video of three. This one is obviously me reacting to scenes which haven't ever been released. I'm also going to be doing a video where I react to release deleted scenes. And then the third and final video will be where I just say that stuff that should have been in the movies that were in the books that just never made it to the movies. But you're probably thinking, how is this video going to work, Sophie? If they've never been released, how are you going to react to them? Basically, on the website... I'm getting a phone call from a muggle. Bye. So yeah, you're probably trying to figure out how this is going to work. If they've never been released, Sophie, how are you simply going to react to them? With magic. No, not with magic. Basically, on websites, there has been, like, discussions from people who work on the set. Pictures, like, inside sources, I believe. Which just gives you a simple sentence of what hasn't been released. And obviously, you just got to go off that. So these scenes have been filmed. They just aren't released yet to the public. Which is insane when Harry Potter ended so long ago. Like, Warner Brothers, come on, release these scenes for us. They're I basically sat there at Warner Brothers and just not releasing them for us. There has been pictures, there has been inside sources, like people who were making the movie saying, yeah, we made this scene, it never happened. From behind the scenes videos, you can see scenes that you think, actually, that was never in a movie, that's never been in deleted scenes bonus feature, where is that? And also, if you watch the Harry Potter trailers, there are many lines and, like, close-ups which were never in the movies or in deleted scenes, you think, what happened to them? Basically, I've got my notepad here with single lines, just like a few few words for example the first one is trio outside the bunker that can mean anything some of them are really like into depth so the first one is trio outside the bunker that could mean anything i don't think it's that important you know it's probably just one of those things that they just didn't bother to put in there because it didn't mean that much all we've got to go with is trio outside the bunker that could be absolutely anything they could be talking about fleur's wedding or you know, it could be anything. The next one is Death Eaters outside Grimmauld Place. Now, I believe this actually was a picture. You can see a picture of the Death Eaters outside Grimmauld Place. I think it's like a behind the scenes one. That was never shown in the movie or in the deleted scenes. And it's just an image which has never corresponded to any scenes. And there's also an image of the trio looking out the windows at the Death Eaters. So what this could mean is just the Death Eaters are trying to scout out the trio, which we know sort of happens anyway. You don't really need a movie scene for that. But it would be cool to see more Death Eaters amongst the movie and obviously I'm very passionate about like the dark arts and stuff like that I love looking into them and I would honest to god love there to be more about the Death Eaters in the Harry Potter movies I would happily read a book all about the Death Eaters and watch a movie all about the uprising of Death Eaters and stuff like that but not too bothered about that scene not being in Harry Potter or being released to the public the third one is the DA disbanding after Umbridge catches them so in the movie you have Umbridge catching them and then it turns the next scene is in their office in her office I guess this is them just discussing what they gonna do next not that important i suppose the next one is draco mourning his father in creation i can't say that word basically draco mourning losing his father to azkaban because lucius goes to azkaban if you haven't read the books you wouldn't know that because it's not in the movies which really irritates me but there is pictures of draco just looking very miserable sat on a wall which is what they believe that is related to and there is a scene of draco looking really upset and it is because lucius has gone to azkaban the whole lucius going to azkaban thing just really irritates me that it isn't in the movies at all i really really want to see it in the movies and even if it's just a deleted scene i just really want to watch it there's a famous picture out there of lucius in azkaban with a broken neck holding up the azkaban number sign i've actually got it on my wall somewhere because i love that picture so much and it just irritates me that's not in the movie i want to know why he got a broken neck even if it was just like a five second scene of just a pan into azkaban and you see lucius in there just because it, it doesn't <sighs> why don't they show it like i you see lucius at the end of order the phoenix but you don't know what happened to him and then suddenly you see him in the malfoy manor and people don't understand how he's got to that stage of looking all bruised and battered and how voldemort's taking over the manor because obviously it states it in the books but on the movie i think they should just show azkaban a lot more in the movies you don't want to just see lucius point of view you also want to see draco's point of view and this is what it's stating it's saying that draco is mourning over his father so 
therefore there would be a scene of Draco maybe crying, maybe just looking very upset, and they will explain that he's gone to Azkaban. Next one is Lupin asks Harry to be Teddy's godfather. I'm not too sure where they found this, and maybe behind the scenes of just a few lines, or maybe like, because they have scripts that leak and stuff, and there may be in a scene of that. That would have been really cool to see. I believe it would have been at Fleur's wedding that it would happen, and I think it's just there wasn't enough time for it, which seems a bit stupid because that is a big point to it, and then you actually know what happened to their child, like after Tonks and Lupin both die. I just think that just comes back to the fact that Lupin and Tonks' relationship was not enough in the movies. They should have shown their relationship a lot more. The next one is Crumb Dances with Hermione. This is on Deathly Hallows Part 1, and Crumb has hair in it. There's actually a picture of Crumb with hair, and he's actually on the Harry Potter set. I think there's actually a picture of Hermione and Crumb dancing at the wedding, and it just never made it into the deleted scenes or into the movie. And you didn't even know that Crumb came to the wedding, so that would have been cool to see. The next one is Ron and Hermione confront Harry by a waterfall after Cedric's death at Voldemort Return. Brackets, ending of Goblet of Fire. So this is another ending that could have been to Goblet of Fire. There's loads of pictures on it. If you just type in Ron, Hermione and Harry waterfall, it comes up. This would have been cool to see because you actually see how Harry's mourning the death. It's just happened. Voldemort's just returned. The only bit you really see about Cedric after Cedric's death is obviously in the Great Hall when they're just mourning the death. Dumbledore's given a speech, but I would like to see how them trio sort of go about Cedric's death straight after it and how Harry's handling it straight after. And them discussing about Voldemort's return in Goblet of Fire would have been very cool. The next one is Harry's mourning Sirius and throwing rocks in the Black Lake. So obviously this is straight after Sirius Black's death and he is throwing rocks in the Black Lake. So I guess it's just him mourning and that would have been cool to see. But you already see how he sort of handles Sirius Black's death by chasing after Bellatrix. But then I suppose it is a big cut between that one and the next one. Maybe you want to see him mourning a bit more. The next one is Harry finds Lily's letter brackets he reads it so this is when Harry's in Regulus Black's bedroom he's sat on the bed and he's reading a letter I believe this is actually in a picture I've actually got the letter up here I think I've got the letter here is this it? so this is the letter here so it says dear Padfoot and it's just the whole letter here so this is basically just Harry reading it it's not that important it's just it's a cute little touch it would have made it would have been cool to be put in the movies I suppose but it's not that necessary it's just talking about Harry's birthday and stuff like that I guess it's kind of a bit more reference to Lily who's Lily but no it, it would I don't know it's not that important but obviously I would love to see it the next one is Dumbledore's actual explanation for Perio Incantatum I can't say those words but it actually says in big capital letters saying actual so this is the actual explanation I guess they saw Sort of need an actual explanation it would have been good I was a bit confused of why the ones connected and then all the parents were coming out I was just a bit confused because sadly I watched the movie before I read the book which I'm not happy with but it happened it would have been cool to see the actual explanation to that next one is Voldemort's dead body scene so in the books it says that Voldemort was laid out on the Great Hall amongst all the other bodies but apparently there is like a scene of Harry stood over the body and he's talking to it so that would be cool to see what Harry has to say to Voldemort's dead body or maybe they do something different because obviously the movies sometimes change off the books but I don't think the movies would have stuck to the books in that way I don't think they would have done that I think they would have just done sort of more dramatic more cinematic to what Voldemort's body is you don't really see what happens to Lord Voldemort's body after in the books you know that it's laid out on the Great Hall but in the movie you don't know what happened but there is a scene that was filmed of what happens to the body would they would follow the books no, I don't think so. I think they would have done sort of more dramatic where Harry's talking down to the body. Oh, I don't know what they do to the body, to be fair. Let's try and think in the mind of Warner Brothers. So the next one is a really big one that I wish was in the movie, and it's Snape's worst memory, Lily and James feud. So this is a feud between Lily and James, and you see why they had a falling out and stuff like that. There's actually pictures of this. You see a picture of Daniel Radcliffe in the background where there's a young Gil Lily and a young James. Who's Lily? I can't even pronounce the names here because I don't even know who it is. Gil Lily. And this would have been so good to be in the movie. Even if it was a deleted scene, I want to see it. Number 13 isn't a sentence, it's just one word and it's Peeves. There's obviously scenes where Rick Mail is Peeves. It must be seen somewhere. They must release them. Why can't I just want to see how it was portrayed, how they did Peeves, even if it's just one Online, it would be so cool to see it. There must be uh, scenes out there. That he's he got paid. He recorded them. He did them. So. There is scenes there, they just didn't put in the movie or in the deleted scenes. The next one just says Sirius Black Attack, brackets POA, which stands for Prison of Azkaban. This could mean anything, but it seems a bit odd that it's Sirius Black's attack, and it's in the Prison of Azkaban, so this must have been before Harry knew he was his godfather, maybe, or a framed attack, or you see Sirius Black. I don't even know what that could be. The next one just says Weasley's waking up to DE attack. 
So waking up to a Death Eater attack. That would look awesome. Like I said, I want to see more of the Death Eaters and how the Weezies would handle that. That's really interesting. I want to see that. The next one says, Crumb eating next to smirking Malfoy. I guess this is in the Goblet of Fire. I guess Malfoy's probably just sucking up to Crumb and let him sit on the slithering table or something. Not that necessary. I guess it's just kind of a little humour bit to the Goblet of Fire. The next one says, Funny Moody Broom Moments. That could mean absolutely anything, but I want to see it. I want there to be more Mad Eye Moody because the Mad Eye Moody we saw in a Goblet of Fire obviously wasn't Mad Eye Moody, but we didn't see that much of the real Mad Eye Moody. And the fact it says funny Mad Eye Moody means it would be really funny if it's Mad Eye Moody. I just, I find Mad Eye Moody so funny. Next one says Lucius Malfoy with dogs in mansion pictures. So this is a picture actually on Google. If you type in Lucius Malfoy with dogs, it comes up. People are so confused with this. I'm especially confused with this. I don't even know, like, why has Lucius got these dogs? Like, what? I don't know if it was just like a shot for a picture. It wasn't actually part of the movie, but why has Malfoy got these dogs? dogs on him and what does Malfoy use them for? Next one is Hagrid introducing class to Festral. Massive point I really really would love to see this but it would be a very strange lesson if like kids turned up and be like Wait, wh where's, where is these creatures you speak of? Like, surely that lesson wouldn't go down too well, Hagrid. I don't know if many of the students would be able to see the festivals, but I guess that may be like a humour bit they're putting in Harry Potter. I don't know if they would do that before Luna talks to Harry about the festivals or after, but like, why would Hagrid do a lesson on something that the class can't even see, like most of the class can't see? Next one is Sirius Lupin discussing James with Harry. I would love to see this. Obviously, I'm saying that's for most of them, but this one definitely. I guess this is after Snape's worst memory one and I guess Harry's just simply a bit confused of his father being a bully and Lupin and Sirius have to explain to him so this would be cool to see Sirius and Lupin sit Harry down and talk about his father to him. The next one is full Bellatrix slash Sirius duel behind the scenes. So in the behind the scenes you see um, Helen Bon Carter and Gary Oldman having a one fight and people are confused when this is in the movie. Apparently the whole scene was shot and it's just never been released and it will be awesome to see that. I, I don't know, like Bellatrix and Sirius having a proper one fight. Uh -huh. Next one is Voldemort wearing a mask. Order of the Phoenix. Voldemort wearing a mask. I, I don't know if they mean like a Death Eater mask or if he's just wearing a different mask but someone said Voldemort was wearing a mask in one of the behind the scenes shots. I don't know that can mean anything. The next one which was also in the Order of the Phoenix is dialogue between Dumbledore and Voldemort. I don't know if it's just me but I love it when Dumbledore and Voldemort are speaking to each other because Dumbledore calls him Tom. It kind of sees like it's, it's just so cool how like a teacher is talking to a student in that stage. He doesn't care who Voldemort is. He simply sees Voldemort as a young boy, as a student he taught. And it's just really cool when there is dialogue between the two. And this would mean a lot better um, in The Order of the Phoenix. I guess this is after the very end of the movie when Dumbledore takes on Voldemort and they actually have a dialogue, which would have been awesome to see. Next one is Slytherin's sulking about dads in Azkaban. Again, with the Azkaban thing, I wish it was more involved. And a lot of students had their parents on the dark side so it would have been cool to see them mourning over their parents getting in trouble and going to Azkaban and how it sort of handles and I love how it says Slytherins I guess the majority would be Slytherins it just I'm a Slytherin and it just makes sense that the majority would be Slytherins I hold my hands up you know we're not all evil but we're not all good. This one is Harry shouting and throwing it in Dumbledore's office. So I believe this is after Dumbledore dies. In the books, Harry is chucking everything and trashing up Dumbledore's office. And then McGonagall walks in. So I guess this is what they're talking about here. It would have been so fun to see Daniel Radcliffe just smashing everything up. And it would have made it more human and more emotion. I reckon it would have made me a lot sadder about Dumbledore's death if we saw this scene. And I would love to see that scene. The next one says Tattoo Man in Nocturne Alley. This could mean absolutely anything. Probably not that important to the storyline, but I don't know. Number 29 is Wolves Orphanage scene. So apparently there's a lot of scenes from the Wolves Orphanage that was left out and never released, which I would have found so much more interesting. I love the flashback when Dumbledore goes to visit Tom Riddle at the orphanage, so I would love to see more scenes about that and more about how Tom Riddle treated the other kids at the orphanage. The childhood of Voldemort just really interesting. The next one, it's over. Snape, Half-Blood Prince trailer. So this is actually in the Half-Blood Prince trailer. If you type it in on YouTube, Half-Blood Prince trailer, you watch it. There's a scene where Snape says it's over when he's at the top of the watchtower, just about to kill Dumbledore. And that was never in the movie or in the deleted scene. When did Alan Rickman ever say those words? It's only in the trailer and it wasn't in the movie or in a deleted scene. So there must have been more dialogue at the top of the tower when he's killing Dumbledore. So I would love to see the extended version of that scene. The next one says more intense Scabby scenes. Obviously, I'm a massive fan of Scabby 
Scabiel. I would love to know more about Scabiel. He wasn't in that much of the movies and it says more intense. So obviously they probably left him out because they were too intense. Maybe a bit of a torture scene or something like that. But I like that dark side of Harry Potter so I would love to see that. Next one is Fred's death. Apparently there is an extended scene of Fred's death. In the movie all you see of him is just laying against the wall and he goes Ugh. and that's obviously when he dies but apparently there is a more extended version so I don't know if we'll be able to handle it guys but there is one out there. The next one is extended Voldemort speech. So you know the speech that Voldemort gives to you at the end of the Deathly Hallows. Apparently it's a lot longer so I don't know if it needs to be any longer. It was quite long as it is in the movie um, but what else could he say? I guess it was just hyping himself up a bit more. The next one is more scenes with Malfoy and Bellatrix. Apparently there's so many more scenes at the Malfoy Manor of the Malfoys and Bellatrix talking to each other. I love it when the Malfoys and Bellatrix interact with each other. Bellatrix loves the Malfoy family. The Malfoy family kind of love Bellatrix, but it's a bit like scared of how sisters going a bit crazy. But obviously I'm a massive Malfoy fan, so I would love there to be more scenes with the Malfoys. And next one is Voldemort coming up to Percy's face. Apparently this was the actor who plays Percy said that Voldemort came up to his face and it was really scary. Scary. So this must have been filmed and I wondered what Voldemort would say to him. I guess it would be very rude. I guess Percy would be very terrified as well. He's a bit of a wimp, isn't he? The next one is Draco tossing Harry his wand. That sounds really rude, but loads of people have seen this. It's on a behind the scenes. You can find it somewhere. And it's basically Draco picks up the wand off the floor or his own wand and just says Potter and chucks it when Voldemort is there. And I guess they didn't put it in a movie. I'm quite happy they didn't put it in a movie because it seems a bit too cinematic. And it would be nice to see the proper scene of how it was shot. Behind the scenes, it doesn't look too realistic of Draco just going Potter. The next one is Harry revealing Snape's alliance. So this is when Harry tells the others about Snape. Which, why is that not in the movie? Like, come on! I want to see that so bad. Like, from Harry's words to the others. Like, I want to see their reactions of when they're saying this. Like, Ron's face and Hermione's face. And the last one is Harry hugs Neville. This is just a random behind the scenes picture. It may just be Daniel Radcliffe hugging Matt Lewis. But it's in front of camera. So I don't know what this is, but, you know. Okay, put it in if you want. And that is it for all the ones I have at the moment. There's so many more and I believe there's even more that haven't been released this far. Like there's not even ones that have a few sentences. It blows my mind that these are just sat in an office somewhere and not being released and it just really irritates me. I just wish they like put it on a DVD or something and then we could buy all the deleted scenes. I tried my best with just what I was given which was just a sentence and I had to go off that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, give it a big thumbs up for me. If you want these to be released, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more Harry Potter videos. In the comments down below, let me know what you feel about these scenes and which ones you would want to be released out of the ones I've said. I love you guys so much and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon with another one. Bye! And well, hey, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you for watching right up to the end. I like you. You're not a muggle. Make sure you watch my latest video by clicking here. Of course, you click subscribe to my channel by clicking here and watch any future Harry Potter videos that I come up with. And in the description down below, you'll find my social media links and you may find a bit of merchandise from me. I love you guys. And yeah, I'll see you in my next Harry Potter video. Adios. Whoa, she disappeared. <laughs>